So we just finished this install and now we need to calculate and add the charge. The only problem is we're using one of these bad boys. As you could tell, there's no connection for a hose on here. So what do we do? We're gonna use a T of course. Now, if we wanted to, we could have used one of the Schrader core removers, but it's just, you don't need it. it. We're not taking the core out. We only need two connection ports, one for the hose and one for the probe. I already have everything else connected, but I left my vapor line off so we could put our T on. We're gonna... Now, I like to put the T on first without my probe on. Um, I just know the probe gets in the way sometimes and I mean if if you're trying to tighten <laughs> tighten the T and it uh, it gets stuck on something it's gonna be pissing out refrigerant so we want to avoid that I'm thinking ahead a little bit you know, are you gonna have room to connect your hose based on where you connect your probe to in this case, you know, we have plenty of room, so there's really not a lot to worry about, but a lot of older units and, you know, different models, they really don't give you a lot of room. So sometimes you gotta, um, you know, just think how you're gonna get everything together uh, before you start connecting. So now our T's on, we gotta put our probe on. Take off one of our caps. We're gonna mount, mount our T. This is how your setup should look once you have everything all connected. We got our probe and our hose connected to a T, so now we can measure the pressure and throttle in our refrigerant at the same time. We got our tank on our scale. We're gonna throttle in one pound of refrigerant and that's it. No need to overcomplicate this. This is probably the best way you could add 410 into a system because you only have one hose and it goes directly and it doesn't have to go up to a gauge set, come back down, and there's no chance of it fractionating or there's a small chance of it fractionating. If you could use the shortest hose you have for this job, that's the best thing you could do. And at the end, we're gonna close the valve on top of the tank, suck out the rest of the refrigerant. So now we're up and running. Good to go, on to the next. Thank you for the view. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. You know, what gauge set do you use? Let's hear the pros and cons and maybe we can get a discussion going.